Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to find prime numbers so guys a prime number is a number that is greater than 1 and can be divided by 1 or itself only so basically whatever number that can only be divided by itself or 1 is a prime number so as you can see in other words prime numbers can't be divided by other numbers it is very important to note that 0 and 1 are not prime numbers so initially these numbers we have to set as the non prime numbers 0 and 1 after that 2 is the only even number that is a prime number why so that's because all the other even numbers can be divided by 2 and the other numbers cannot satisfy the condition of being the prime number which can only be divided by itself so basically because all the other even numbers can be divided by 2 they are not the prime numbers so guys let us check the java program in order to find whether the entered number is a prime number or not so basically we are going to have initially the integer that is the number now this number will be taken as the input from the user so we are going to have the print statement over here and we will ask the user to enter the number and we are going to check whether this entered number by the user is a prime number or not so we are going to use the scanner class in order to take the input from the user we have the sc object followed by new operator and then we have the scanner constructor and inside this parenthesis we will have system dot n so this statement is responsible in order to ask the user for a particular input which will be stored inside this number so in order to store the number entered by the user we will have this number it is equal to sc followed by dot and we have next int method which is responsible to store the number after taking from the user inside this number variable now guys as we have seen the starting number that is 0 or 1 is not the prime number so it can so happen that the number that is entered by the user is 0 or 1 so what we will do is first of all we will check whether the entered number is 0 or 1 so it is number equal to equal to 0 or number equal to equal to 1 so over here we are checking whether number is 0 or 1 that is entered by user and if so what we will do is the entered number is not a prime number we will have to print that statement so we will say number that is entered by user is not prime number so guys this statement this if condition is responsible in order to check whether the number is entered as 0 or 1 and if so the number is not a prime number now guys after this we will have the else part and inside this else part if let's say the number is not 0 or 1 we will check whether the entered number is a prime number or not inside this else part so what is the logic behind finding whether a number is a prime number or not so guys over here i'll show you with the help of example so let's say if the entered number is 20 that is entered by the user so first of all we have to find the middle number which can be found by dividing this number by 2 so middle number it is equal to 20 divided by 2 now what is the logic behind finding this middle number it will be equal to 10 we have to go through a for loop which is starting from 2 and ending up to 10 why ending up to 10 that's because whatever numbers are there after this 10 that is 11 12 or 13 so these numbers after middle number if we multiply by 1 then we will get these numbers itself and if we multiply them by 2 we will get the numbers which is greater than This entered number. So let's say if we consider 11 in this case, we multiply it by 2, we will get 22, which is greater than 20, and then we have 12, which is multiplied by 2, which will be 24. Again, it is greater than 20, and so on. So guys, there is no use of using these numbers in order to check whether the entered number is a prime number or not. And in this case, we can optimize our Java program. Our Java program needs to be optimized, and only we should check the valid test cases. So we will only go from to to the middle number that is 10 so guys over here what we will do is first of all we will define the middle number that is integer middle number so this is the variable that will store the middle number over here now what will be the middle number it will be number divided by 2 in this case and then we have semicolon so in this case we will be computing the middle number so whatever number that is entered by the user divided by 2 will be our middle number now what we will do is we will use our for loop and integer i it goes from 2 because we are not using 0 or 1 in this case we are starting from 2 and then we have semicolon we have i less than or equal to middle number over here 
so we have middle number and then i plus plus so guys only these test cases we are going to check that is i it is equal to 2 up to middle number and we are going to check that whether there is any number in between these numbers that will be successful to divide this entered number and if there is any number that can divide this particular entered number then this entered number is not a prime number and if there is no other number in between these numbers that can divide this entered number then the entered number is a prime number so guys that is the logic behind finding the prime number using the java program so inside this for loop we will have the if condition and then we have number percent this variable that is i which goes from 2 to middle number and we will check whether this expression is equal to 0 or not so guys if there is the number that is i it can divide this particular entered number so the remainder will be 0 in which case it is not a prime number so over here we will have the print statement once again i will copy the same statement over here and i'll paste this over here now after this statement we are going to also have another temporary variable so what will be the temporary variable over here we will define flag which is equal to 0 initially now guys what is the importance of this flag so in case we have found that there is any number that is i which can divide the entered number and the remainder is 0 in that case we will make flag is equal to 1 so over here after printing the statement that is number is not prime number we will say flag it is equal to 1 and we will come out of this loop that's because there is no point of checking the other numbers in order to see whether those numbers are dividing this particular entered number or not that's because we have already found that the number is not a prime number so we will come out of this loop using the break statement and now it is very important that after this for loop we have to print whether a particular number is a prime number or not so guys using these cases we have found that the number is not a prime number but how do we print that the number is a prime number so after going through all these cases that is from 2 up to middle number so still we have not found any number that was i which can divide divide this number that is entered by the user and we have found the remainder so basically the flag value is still 0 and it is not set to 1 so after this for loop we are going to check whether the flag is 0 or not and if flag it is equal to 0 so in this case if flag is equal to 0 what we will do is we will print the statement that is the entered number is a prime number so over here number and then we have is prime number so guys over here we have the print statement that will say the number that is entered is a prime number that's because we have not found any number between 2 up to middle number that was able to divide this entered number so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so let me just enter the first number as 7 over here so 7 is a prime number that's because there is no other number before 7 that can divide this number that is 7 let me just check another number over here let me just run this file once again i'll enter the number 9 which can be divided by 3 so in this case the 9 is not a prime number that's because we can divide the number by 3 let me just run this file once again let me check the number that is 21 which can be again divided by 3 or it can also be divided by 7 so let me press enter as you can see 21 is not a prime number let me just run the file once again we will check for 47 so in this case as you can see 47 is a prime number that's because there is no other number less than 47 which can divide this number so guys this is the way that we can write our java program in order to find whether the entered number is a prime number or not so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to reverse a string so stay tuned